We got uh, two inspections and a marketing event. I'm not performing the home inspections, my guys are. I'm gonna sneak up on them and see if I can find anything today. <laughs> The secret to uh, a real estate agent's hearts are through their stomachs and also good service. Just letting you know this is heavy, extremely heavy. Didn't get much video of the conference. They didn't really want me videoing in there, but uh, it went really well. I crushed it. Um, let's uh, try to make it over to Robert's inspection and try to figure out if we can find anything good to show you on it. Uh, we got two good finds uh, and a funny one. Uh, this is a flood house. Uh, they started ripping some walls out and we found some termites and the garage foundation is failing. Let me go uh, show you those issues. All right, so for the first find, I'm gonna show you the termites and I'm gonna show you why they chose this area, but mainly I wanna show you what uh, termite damage looks like. So let's uh, show you that. So you can see how this, uh, it's the wood's almost like paper-like and you have a lot of mud inside of here. This is all related to termite damage. You also will get these mud tubes here. This is what they use to travel. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so you can see, you can see how it's a little thick. It's not so granularly. Like if I touch this and this was ants, it would just fall right out. But they use this for cover. And then here you go all around the window too as well. All across the top right here. Across the top right here. And down. Same scenario, Robert found uh, termites in this corner. Uh, it's actually a pretty good find and I'll show you why they chose this area too as well. So, right here in the corner, uh, really hard to find, but he's able to pull back the wood and there's a lot of termite activity through this, this stud right here. All right, so the main reason why they chose the chose this area on the house, it's the perfect area for them. They have wood to ground contact, they're gonna have a constant so source of moisture uh, coming off the roof right here. And uh, also at the base, you have a lot of wood to ground contact. They were able to stay there and uh, nobody could ever know that they were moving because the sheetrock was in place. They probably got a little bit of debris on the inside. Let me show you why they chose the garage. So on the garage, the reason why they chose this spot, same scenario, wood to ground contact. You also have this nice little tree, uh, perfect uh, amount of shade and moisture. So let me get a little closer. So you can see Robert likes to call this the uh, termite honey hole. All right, for this next issue, uh, the garage foundation has uh, failed. This happened a lot whenever it flooded in the area. There was a lot of movement across the slab. Good thing the house is okay. There was just very, very little movement, but the garage is split in half. And let me show you how I know and what I was looking for. All right, so you can see right here where the crack goes straight through the slab. Goes all the way down to the bottom. And it go travels all the way through. Uh, one of the main reasons why this happened is uh, you have the tree over here, you had the flood, it caused a lot of movement, and that's the reason why the slab dropped. Not an engineer, but it's just an educated guess. All right, so for the funny one, I just wanted to show it to you real quick. Uh, I have a perfectly working shower in this, uh, the flood home. They liked, they liked the way it looks, so I guess they kept it, so here you go. You know, the shower pan is perfect. Yeah, it's holding this water, all the kraut looks good. You know, if I got hot and cold water, you know, your, your shower might be, um, I mean, your house might be flooded, but you still can take a shower. All right, you know the spiel by now. Uh, if you please like and subscribe to the videos, and if you have any questions, please reach out, leave a comment. Thanks, bye.